Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Not yet. On Saturday. On Saturday the 12th, I'll be 52, which I never thought I'd make it to. I thought when I was 20, I'd be dead by the time I was 30. But here I am, 52 years old. How the F did I get here? Um, on the 13th, the day after, they were supposed to ease restrictions down from stage 4 to 3, which meant we could have gone for a drive. Uh, Patrick was going to take me and Chiquita out in the ute as a birthday present and go for a cruise around Melbourne City and I'd stick my head out the window and go, look at the log. But um, now they're, they're, they're extending it another two weeks. And, but Roger said he'll take me out on the Harley on Saturday. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. I feel like I'm just sitting here rotting like a rotting tomato. I have stopped my chemo. I have stopped all treatment. I am not going to get a third opinion. Um, those tablets were making my, this is a wig. This is my $40 wig, see? <laughs> yeah, two for $40. Um, you cannot wear this. You just cannot wear this in public. You're supposed to pluck the uh, parting to make it look natural it's got no clips in it to make it stick to your head and I don't know how to I need a pair of razor scissors to go down there to give it a bit of shape around the face but it's um it's got a lot of knots and there's no way in hell I can get a brush through it no way so I mean I could wear it with a hat but it's so hot and itchy but anyway um I've got, I've got another wig coming, which was like $100, so I'll take that to the hairdresser when they open and get them to help me put it on, get get them to trim it where if it needs it, you know, get, get their help with um, wearing a wig properly while my hair recovers and grows back, gets thicker. Um, you know, my hair was shedding and the liver cancers were growing so like this chemo shit was in my system killing cells killing my hair follicles but it was not doing anything to the liver cancer and i've joined an online liver cancer not liver cancer um colon, colon cancer stage four um facebook support group and it's just been fantastic I posted something the other day and I I, I was I didn't want to post it I, I sort of thought is this too raw is it too real but that's what the whole thing is about so you can talk about anything you want to do with your cancer and be as real and raw as you need to be because you need to be and just so many people see I appreciate your post and you know, I've been thinking about this too, and it's just like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm still sort of torn, though. It's like, you know, people say the only reason why I'm doing chemo is because I made a promise to my loved one, and it's like, well, my loved one took off, and I don't make promises because I don't like to break promises, and to me, your word is your everything. That's all you've got, really, is your word. And if you break it, I don't trust people after they've said, oh, promise this, promise that. I say, don't make promises. Do not ever say promise. Because if you break it, to me, it's a big deal. Because your word is so important, you know? Yeah. Anyway, Chiquita's, she's, she's good. She's here. She's my baby. She's with mum 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I trimmed her nails last night. She was a good girl about it. She got some treats afterwards. She's been my little friend with me all the time. I worry about her so much, though, for fuck's sake. You know, when's... Oh, look, roll on Saturday, roll on, roll on Saturday. I don't want to get older, but we all are. But um, it's going to be fun to get out and go for a ride on the motorbike. 
I think in two weeks' time, when they ease it down to stage three, we'll be out driving all the time, man, like driving everywhere, going up the hills, going to the sea, just going everywhere. Anyway, I thought I'd just bit a chicken and just say hello to everybody and, um, yeah, say hello and how you, to see how you're all doing and stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to vacuum now as per usual and make a chicken curry for my housemate. And then have a shower and um, go out with Fajita somewhere. Go up to Frankston or something. All right. Mwah. Nice to see you. Bye.